Buenos días, estamos en el segundo curso de superficie ocular y aquí en el Conde Valenciana. Estamos eh, con el doctor Sayan Basú, que nos visita de la India, eh, y queremos hacerle una entrevista. La primera pregunta, doctor, eh, háblenos acerca de su nueva técnica de trasplante de córnea y qué tiene que ver con la oncología. Tell us about uh, your, need, your new technique in corneal trans tra transplantation and also character prosthesis and uh, the outcomes okay. you, you have found in this technique. Okay, thank you very much. So uh, today we are going to demonstrate two new techniques that we have developed at the LB Prasada Institute in Hyderabad. And uh, these techniques are for patients who have very severe eye disease. Uh, because of some very complicated problems. Um, some patients have uh, very severe burns in the eyes because of some chemical injuries or some patients may have uh, very bad corneas in which you cannot do a regular transplantation. So one of these techniques is called SLET or SLET where uh, you take a small piece of uh, healthy uh, limbus which is the area between the black part and the white part of the eye and uh, you transplant, in, transplant it on the eye which has the ocular burn which has got the surface has completely been burned because of some chemical injury or something like that and uh, you can restore it just like a normal eye okay so uh, we'll be demonstrating that and Guillermo Mesqua who's from Baskin Palmer in Miami he's uh, he's also an expert in that and he's been doing that in, in the United States for a long time now so he's going to also demonstrate some cases uh, because we have been collaborating with him for a long time. The other technique is called the LVP keratoprosthesis. Um, it's based on the Boston Type 1 design, but you can use it in eyes that are completely dry, which do not have any tear function, um, and who are currently, you know, they are classified as hopelessly blind, that you cannot do anything else for them. Any other uh, surgery or routine transplantation is at very high risk of failure. So these are the two surgeries that we're going to demonstrate. Ok, por último, doctor, ¿cuál ha sido su experiencia profesional en México? What has been your uh, personal experience? I mean, uh, talking about professional experience in Mexico. Okay. So, uh, this is the first time that I've been in Mexico, in Mexico City, and uh, uh, I think it's a very, very, uh, you know, nice place. Very, very lovely people, very, very warm and, uh, you know, pleasant people. And uh, it's uh, in a very strange way, it's also very similar if you see the streets uh, and, the, and the people here and also the patients who come here with the kind of problems that they do. It's very actually very similar to what we have in India. So uh, it's uh, strange, but uh, it's uh, very remarkable that so far across the globe, you have uh, two places that are very similar in terms of how the people are, uh, especially, you know, the food uh, and everything else is very similar to what we have in India. So it's actually uh, very, you know, I was pleasantly surprised and the Guillermo and Enrique always used to tell me that you'll like it when you go to Mexico and uh, I have to say that yeah, they were right and it's a wonderful place, very nice people and uh, I think the institute over here is doing a wonderful job, they do a lot of good cornea, uh, you know, surgeries and they have a great cornea practice helping patients uh, from all over Latin America and I think especially in Mexico um, and uh, I think uh, both Personally and professionally, it's been a great experience being here in Mexico. Algo más se quiera comentarnos en esta entrevista? Any other comments you would like to add? Uh, I would just like to say that uh, I think it's a great initiative that uh, they have organized uh, this workshop in Ocular Surface because it's uh, a part of uh, ophthalmology and in cornea service also, which is not very. Uh, stressed upon but there are a lot of patients who have ocular surface problems and they are very difficult to treat so it's very important that uh, cornea specialists cornea fellows during their training get exposed to uh, these kind of treatment options which were not there five years ago or ten years ago and they're very recent developments like the procedure that I was talking to you about about SLET or SLET uh, or uh, LVP keratoprosthesis these are very recent in the last two or three years only they have you know come up and now you have the because you have these procedures you can treat a lot of patients who were earlier considered as incurable you know people used to say that they have incurable corneal blindness like if you had a patient who came in with that problem doctors would say you know there's nothing we can do about this you know you probably have to stay blind forever but now you have the treatment for that through these and so it's very important that cornea fellows who are uh, new in their training learn about these techniques 
and uh, they are able to provide these services because they don't require they're not very complicated that they are able to provide these services to their patients locally at the at the where they practice muchas gracias doctor gracias